Perswire at the post, and they are off in the Darley Alcibiades. There's Raging Sea right out for the early lead. Here's Kaling out in the center of the racetrack, and Infinite Diamond up close as well. Wonder Wheel is right there down toward the inside, and now Kidra moves up between horses. Five across the track contesting the lead all the way to the first turn. Just said he's going to be about six wide behind that front flight. Back up front, though, it is Wonder Wheel saving the ground around the turn. Leads it now by three quarters of a length. Raging Sea goes second. Kidra third. Essawira moves up the inside fourth. Infinite Diamond fifth. Kaling is a wide sixth. Just Cindy is there in seventh. Boss Lady Bailey is eighth. Stellar Lady is back toward the inside in ninth. Mustang Lady is back in tenth position. Chop Chop is eleventh. Fun and Feisty twelfth. Sabra Tough is thirteenth. And Take Charge Brianna last to the fourteen. Opening quarter on the board in 23.49 seconds. Midpoint of the back stretch. The first half mile in 47.16 seconds. Wonder Wheel the leader. And Kidra just off the leader's flank in second. Essa Wera close up third to the inside. Kaling is in the clear in fourth and Moving up within two and a half lengths of the lead. Raging Sea is fifth in between horses. Boss Lady Bailey is in sixth. Now Chop Chop is seventh toward the inside. Eight lengths off the lead. They're midway on the final turn. Fun and Feisty is still far back. Moving past the quarter pole, it is Wonder Wheel who leads it by three lengths now. Kidger is second a length. Raging Sea is in third. Chop Chop swings to the outside from fourth. Fun and Feisty still nearly 15 lengths off the lead. Top of the short stretch, and it is Wonder Wheel with the lead. Wonder Wheel by three. Raging Sea is fighting for second down to the inside. And then Chop Chop on the outside. Kidger between that pair. They're all bearing down on Wonder Wheel. Chop Chop is coming late from the outside, but the wire's coming. Chop Chop chasing Wonder Wheel. Raging Sea, but between them, here's the wire in the Alcibiades. It's a head bobbing photo for the win. Another thrilling finish here on opening day, this time in the grade one, Darley Alcibiades and Wonder Wheel. I think, thankfully, that first wire finish was a big help to her pulling off this grade one victory, if in fact she does so, because Chop Chop was bearing down on her, but Wonder Wheel maybe just held over that number two horse with Tyler Gaffleone in the saddle. Close on the wire, Gabby. It's going to be very close. You almost have to get a, a closer um, a look at this stretch run. But man, did she turn things around here today. I mean, Wonder Wheel, she was forwardly placed in here. She kind of felt the pressure of Chop Chop closing. Uh, I believe she hangs on in the end. Do you? I would think that she does, but very close on the wire between she and Chop Chop. Photo for the win, hold all tickets.
Keeneland's ninth race in the photo. Number one, Wonder Wheel finished first. Number two, Chop Chop was second. Number four, Raging Sea third. Number five, Kitchera fourth. One, two, four, five, unofficial. Hold all tickets. At Keeneland, both the inquiry and objection signs have been posted on the infield board for today's ninth race. Trainer and jockey of the five, Kidjura, have lodged a claim of foul against the four, Raging Sea, alleging interference in the stretch. Inquiry and objection as well, both pending concerning the unofficial third and fourth place finishers hold all tickets. Stewart's inquiry focusing now on the second, third, and fourth place finishers. The stewards have clarified that their inquiry focuses on the second, third, and fourth place finishers, number two, Chop Chop, number four, Raging Sea, and number five, Kidra. In addition, a claim of foul is pending by the jockey of the five, Kidra, and the trainer of the five against the four, Raging Sea. Between the objection and the inquiry, the second, third, and fourth place finishers and the unofficial result all involved here hold all tickets. The unofficial winner not affected. And there's the unofficial winner on the video boards on the turf course, number one, Wonder Wheel, owned by the DJ stable of Leonard Green, trained by Mark Cassie, ridden by Tyler Gaffalione. Into mischief, two-year-old filly out of Wonder Gal by Tis Wonderful, bred in Kentucky by Three Chimneys Farm and Clear Sky Farms. But again, inquiry and objection pending concerning the unofficial second, third, and fourth place finishers. <laughs> 